let me just hit hit you with a the question I've been asking everybody uh, from the uh, the world of uh, NFL media um, over the last several days. The most intriguing team for you entering 2022 is which field? I'm going to go with the Chargers, and the reason why is they've been a team that even going back to when Philip Rivers was their quarterback felt tantalizingly close to being in the contention race in the AFC and potentially a Super Bowl te- contender as well. Uh, and this year, and maybe I'm taking the bait and maybe I'm overreacting to some of the offseason moves, but it feels as though this year they are closer than ever. And that's not just because of the additions of Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson and Kyle Van Noy and others on defense, Zion Johnson on offense and some other pieces added as well. I think it's just because Justin Herbert has a chance to get even better than he was last year, which is sort of a scary thought when you look at how he performed last season. We're talking about a guy who, I know it sounds a little bit hyperbolic, but could one day set like individual season passing records, whether it's passing yards, passing touchdowns. Uh, He's just getting started, and he already feels like one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. Speaking of just getting started, are you holding the rookie of the year while conducting this interview right now, Field? Are you doing that right now? You know something, Rich? You are... Spot on. I'm on daddy daycare today. As mm. My wife is, uh, she's a coach. So she's at camp today. Mm-hmm. And so I've been a uh, d- daddy daycare duties. And normally this would be the time that my daughter is down. Ah. She has decided to change up her schedule. She called the audible on me. So I'm trying to keep her down, but, uh, or keep her quiet. I should say. It's but okay. She's got some thoughts on the chargers as well. She's called in Omaha on you. How huh, field? Okay. What's her, <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? What's your baby's name? This is Kinley. She's six months old, oh. and she was born on the Friday of the divisional round of the NFL playoffs <laughs> this year, which I know you will recall was, in some people's estimation, the greatest divisional round the league has yes. ever seen. Yes. And every competitive NFL game she's seen since then has been decided in dramatic fashion. So no pressure Rams and Bills uh, when you guys get started in six weeks from tonight. But if you don't hold up your end of the bargain – she may never be a football player. Well, for your wife's sake, I hope her birth was more uh, was less eventful uh, than than every single playoff game that uh, that followed. Field, I'll just say that. Definitely was, yeah. Uh, okay, so very good. So the Chargers, huh? So, oh man, I, I, I'm I've been picking the Raiders to win the division. Um, talk me out of it. Go for it if you want to. Well, here's the, the – I mean, I could make the case for the Chargers as an AFC favorite. I could also make the case that. They might finish fourth in their own division, and that's not necessarily because they have glaring weaknesses. But to your point, the Raiders, the Chiefs, the Broncos, I mean, any single one of those teams could have a formidable case as the AFC West favorite going into this year. I don't really have a great counterpoint working against any of them, to be honest, Rich. It's more, I would say, that somebody has to finish in last place, right? Somebody has to go maybe 7-10 and 10, or maybe 8-9 and nine, as opposed to 12-5. and five. And so I think – that when you sort of play out each of their schedules, uh, you know, you and I and 25 other people that follow the league closely could do so and come up with 25 different outcomes. The Raiders, probably the biggest question mark for me coming into the season. We've still got a long way to go before we actually play games. But the offensive line, which in recent years felt like it was trending towards a strength, over the past couple of years it's been broken up a bit. There was the Rodney Hudson trade, Richie Incognito retired. They'll start trying to figure out what to do with last year's first-round pick, Alex Leatherwood. So the Raiders' offensive line has my attention. But in that division, every offensive line, specifically the right side of the offensive line, has my attention because if it's not Khalil Mack one week, it could be Bradley Chubb the next week. It could be, not just to be applicable to the Raiders, Max Crosby or Chandler Jones the following week. So a right tackle may not get paid on average as much as a left tackle. But you can make the case that in the AFC West, they're just as important. 